Julian Edelman is a player that another guy that got a contract extension this offseason. He is one of the most revered, beloved players on this roster around all of New England. And he's still really like when he plays with Tom Brady, you know what he does? He puts up massive numbers. Where do you have Edelman? What's your outlook for him this season? I think Edelman, uh, to be honest, is being drafted too high. So his current ADP is 19. Okay. I have him outside my top 20. I'm at 23. You have him at 17. Mike Clay has him at 25. So I'm a little bit lower on him than the ADP. He made my hate list. We should mention this, by the way. My love-hate, my preseason love-hate, yep. now up on ESPN.com. I'm a company man. <laughs> so the problem with Edelman, for me, is the lack of touchdowns, which has always been a problem for Edelman. Last year, when Rob Gronkowski was on the field, he played eight games. During the eight games that he was on the field with Rob Gronkowski, Julian Edelman got three red zone targets. Right. Three. And he ended the year with three touchdowns. He's never been a huge touchdown guy. So then you're like, well, that's okay because he makes up for it in volume. The concern is, will the volume be there with... Brandon Cooks and Rob Gronkowski and Deion Lewis and James White out of the backfield. And, and you know, Malcolm Mitchell and Chris Hogan have to get some work. Right. And Danny Amendola is still on the team. And then it just, there's so many mouths to feed. And even if we say Brandon Cooks or Rob Gronkowski have a monster year, I, I just don't see, look, Edelman's obviously going to be a big part of the offense. I just don't see him getting the volume that he has previously. And I don't see him getting into the end zone in a significant way. I, I am concerned about his upside.